Make sure you tap that bell so you never miss a video. All right, I had some questions about uh, what I think of the new Tarkov update. We've been talking a little bit about Tarkov, kind of stirring the pot a little bit in the community because personally, I just think the game's development cycle is... Well, I mean, you guys have seen the videos. If you're subscribed to the channel, you know that I'm not very impressed with where the game is at. So they just dropped this new update last Thursday. I had some time to get my hands on it. We did a couple of streams of it. And I got to say, the new map they've dropped, Interchange, is probably the best map that the game has right now in its current state. Um, it's, it's insanely huge, which I think is cool. They took out player scavs and the AI scav, so it's literally just like player characters running around the map. I think that's cool. I don't know if they're doing it just for like a performance thing because the map launched in a pretty decent state. Like it was no shoreline. If you guys remember that unoptimized garbage pile, it wasn't that. There are slight frame hiccups when you're running around. I don't know if it's just because of the net code and when people are dr dropping in and out. I have no idea. I'm not a tech person like that. I just know that for the most part, the map performs pretty well. There are hiccups when you turn really fast. It might drop uh, for like a second and then come right back. Um, just, you know, basic stuff that you expect in beta. It's not like running at 15 to 20 FPS. I actually get solid performance on it outside of those hiccups. The map design is beautiful. The um, it's like it's like a shopping center. It's a huge shopping center with a whole bunch of different stores, different floors. Um, there's I think there's two levels going up different escalators and stairwells, and then it leads into this huge like IKEA, and it's like aisle after aisle, shelf after shelf. The map is unbelievably huge. That being said, I think the map right now is only 8 to 12 players. And I know they pulled off the AI and they pulled out the player scabs. That needs to be upped a little bit. And like I said, I don't know if it's for performance related things so that they could launch it and people don't completely lose their fucking mind about it. But even though the map is huge, I seem to find firefights like pretty quickly. I don't know if it's just based on how the the spawns are close together or what but it doesn't feel like i'm running around looking by myself for hours on end which is fucking awesome i think that's a good design that being said i myself am i'm actually enjoying going back to tarkov after taking a long fucking break from it i played it here and there just a little bit kind of dabbled in some of the new content but actually diving back in and playing it i'm actually having a good time that being said when you go to their subreddit, which is like their community hub outside of the forums, I'm seeing a lot of people that are having the same issues, glitching through doors, uh, lag, spawning and dying. So I, I can't... People want to know if the game is better. And I get that question a lot when I'm streaming. It's like, yo, how is this game coming along? And it's weird because like coming back in, I, I feel like I'm on like a second wind type of honeymoon stage, but not really because I'm still kind of grounded with it. But... I'm actually kind of enjoying what I'm playing right now, and that's cool. That's good from my perspective. But when somebody asks how the game state is, and I'm seeing all of these video clips of the AI in other maps just going laser beam like they used to be, like I guess there's this new head um, hitbox, like a face hitbox, so people can like shoot you even though you're wearing a helmet, and it hits you in the face. It's a it's a hard shot to make, but you can do it. And I guess the AI is fucking unreal with it so you're getting killed pistols and doof, and all you hear is oh, 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 and then you're dead and there's no chance and i've seen clips where guys are like laying down beside trees all they see is like the arm of the scav they hear the yell and they're dead and it's a pistol and it's like you don't even the the best players in the world would not stand chances now i've just been playing interchange because i don't really give a shit about the other maps right now i've played them enough but Apparently, the AI on those maps are fucking, like, gods at this point. So, I'm hearing a lot of conflicting things. I, myself, am having a great time with Interchange. If you own the game and you want to come back, I, I just urge you to try that map. Play it, see it, see the design flow of it, and, and just enjoy playing against other players. I feel like that is really, at this point, the way the game needs to be experienced until they can fix the AI issues that have been plaguing this game since they they first fucking launched it that's just how i feel at this point i'm having a decent time with it i'm not like itching 
to play Tarkov, but it's something that I feel like I can stomach playing now, at least on Interchange. I did a couple of factory runs. Factory still runs gorgeous. Love it. Uh, a lot of action there, but for the most part, I've just been fucking with the new map, trying to just get my bearings, trying to learn the layout, and just kind of casually going in it, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. The game still has a long fucking way to go, and there were moments on my stream where I was lining somebody up, you know, just like sitting medium range away. And as soon as I went to like get the target on them, pull the trigger, my frames would dip. And it's shit like that that's just like super frustrating. But then I remember this is a beta. And <laughs> I know that's weird coming from me. Issues like that are understandable. It's when you compound all of these different issues on it is when people like me start to get pissed off. When you have the AI issues, when you have the unoptimization, when you have the net code, and then on top of it, the frame rate. But for me, the isolated incidents in this patch so far on Interchange have been pretty minimal. So that's where I'm at right now. The community as a whole, I think, is pretty twisted on this patch. There's people that are really enjoying the new map, but there's people that are really hating the changes that they're making to the AI. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's almost like I'm, I'm sitting on the fence with it. I, I'm at a, like, a, eh, yeah, it's Tarkov still, but the new map is dope and I really like the design choices they made. As much as people want to paint me as this fucking asshole who just hates the game, this is a game that I've invested a lot of time into in terms of making content and streaming and talking about it with my community. I don't want to see the game fail by any stretch of the imagination. I never want to see any games really fail. If I talk about the issues and harp on them and try to get the developers and, and the community to, to start, start talking about some of the shit, I think that's a healthy way to further along development. It's not like I'm sitting here just trying to drive the game into the ground. There's a lot of creators out here who play the game and enjoy it and they're okay with all this stuff and that's cool. There's two different sides of a spectrum and I'm on my side where I like to talk about the issues, especially when you're testing because then at least the developers know the frustrations and I'm seeing that through podcasts in the community, I think the developers are starting to understand that this shit can't launch in states like you did with Shoreline, especially when we're waiting a year for a map I'm happy they pulled the AI. I'm scared though that if they were to put the shit back in right now, how piss poor that map is going to run. I really hope that's not the case. But again, I'm not here to destroy the game by any means. I just want to bring up the issues because I find that in testing communities, you get two sides of the spectrum. You get my side of the spectrum who will talk about the issues and, and still give them credit where credit's due. And then you have the guys who literally just go in and absolutely bash every single thing about it regardless if they they just will not find anything positive about the game at all. I've never been like that with Escape from Tarkov. Um, I just know that the videos where I talk about the issues blow the fuck up. And the videos where I praise the stuff doesn't really do as well. Um, and that's not me just like talking about the issues so I get views. It's just literally what you guys end up clicking on or what gets shared around the Reddit or the forums or whatever. It, it, it's just It's just content creation. Uh, and then there's a spectrum of people who don't talk about issues at all and any issue with an AI they always just you know end up saying like get good you're just fucking terrible your PC shit like there's always an excuse um, I, I find that the actual situation kind of lands somewhere in the middle and that's where I try to stay at I'm kind of rambling now I know people have been asking me about the patch update and what I think about it I think it's good I think it's a good step in the right direction they just now need to keep doing that at a consistent rate if it's another year until we get a map well fuck like I'll be here in a year saying the same shit that I said in my last video about how the development cycle isn't where it needs to be but after a patch like that I'm pretty happy another thing that they did that I actually like I'm not following patch notes but they have it so instead of dragging an entire like pile of ammo into a mag you have to load bullet by bullet which is, it makes total fucking sense, but when I first saw it, I was like, holy shit, like, that's such a game changer in terms of pacing and in terms of gunfights. You have to make sure that you are, you know, you have enough cover that you can sit behind and load a mag, and it also doesn't tell you how much is in the magazine anymore. You have to actually check the mag. So, changes like that, awesome. 
keep doing stuff like that that actually makes sense i don't think those are big enough changes to make like the community turn against you i think those are like those are changes that like i, I didn't think i wanted until i saw it and that's that's the development cycle that i want i want changes like that and implementations like that that just further advance the fps realism so i'm happy with that there's a lot of other things that happen like they they put a whole bunch of like um like like gear and stuff in there i'm not talking about all that stuff i don't really care i'll find it when i find it uh, in terms of like the big changes i just want to give you guys my opinion let me know down below what you guys think about the patch i know i have a lot of tarkov people who do still follow me again not trying to put the game into the ground. I want it to succeed. This is a good next step for that. So let me know what you guys think down below. We're going to be streaming Tarkov a lot more now that, you know, the community can be back in. And hopefully we don't run into a lot of issues moving forward. Again, I haven't put like hours and hours and hours into the patches. This is almost like a, a super first impression. But we're going to be streaming it a lot more on Twitch. If you guys want to come through, the link is in the description. And I just want to thank you guys for watching the videos, man. I'm recording this kind of late, so I might sound a little bit tired. I apologize, but I'm banging out content for you guys, and I hope you're enjoying it from the views and, and stuff like that. It seems like you guys are rocking with it. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are supporting everything that I'm doing right now, and I love it. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.